Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to be talking about the brand you know as Yonix. So, guys, I'm going to be talking about what they're great at, what they're not so great at, and check out some of the products and let you know what I think. Hang tight. So let's start with their, their major strength. Their major strength is definitely rackets. Now we got that Stan the Man V Core Pro 97 here. We know that Yonex has the best quality control. They're always almost on the mark with most of these rackets. So they're the only company that's made in Japan. All the rackets, except for some of the, the few lesser priced ones, are made in Japan. The high-end rackets, all made in Japan, okay? So, V-Core Pro 97, 330, we know that endorsed by Stan the Man, definitely player stick. Comes in a 310, still 97, also comes in a 100, and also they added this year that HD, uh, the denser string pattern in a 320, 18 by 20. So great sticks, great overall player sticks. Um, love these rackets. They added that mesh in the handle to uh, dampen the vibration a little bit. But those guys are always thinking and trying to be innovative with their rackets. So I think they hit the mark with this one. Racket of the year, guys. This E-Zone 98, E-Zone 100. This is the racket of the year. People love this racket. I love this racket. Um, great overall racket. For anybody who's intermediate and up, 98 works for you. Hundreds, beginners. Be beginners, go with the 100 um, to intermediate if you need a little more power. Easier to play with. They also make a... Um, a hundred light, super light, 105. So they pretty much cover all the bases in the E-Zone line right here. But great stick. So my new favorite racket, that V-Core 95, um, really lesser known player stick, but I know you guys have been telling me to use it, and I have, and I actually love it. So I'll be doing a review on that real soon. But V-Core line, very solid. Now. They just came out with this Astral line, which actually plays super well too. Um, they come in, they come in a 100, which is new to the line, nine ounces, real easy to play with. For those of you who want a hundred square inch head, nine ounces, good power, that's a good racket for you. Um, they also make a 115, which is this racket right here. Game improvement easy to play with. Um, you play that doubles game in which all the, ga the, the game is in front of you, a la serve and volley or serve and stand in no man's land. This is your racket. Um, easy to play with, easy to maneuver, easy power. They also make a 105, which is this one here. A little less power than the 115. Um, if you want to swing through a little bit, this is your frame. Both of these are pretty wide, which makes it easy power and makes it more stiff. So, but again, I mean, those are for people, these are for people who want more power, but they've thought this out and these play really, really well and are really, really solid. So you try these Astrals if you, if this is in your category. Now, the other thing that these guys do super well is I think they make the best bags in the industry. I mean, these guys always have the best zippers. They're always smooth, right? The compartments are always well thought out. Look at that, that's the foil compartment for that bag, for the rackets. This is for your, whatever you want, your accessories, your clothes. The shoe bag down here goes zippers on the other side. more compartments if you got more rackets but you know this is a very well thought out bag 
that's the one thing I like about these guys. That's a solid handle right there, right? That's a semi-hard um, side right here. This is, I believe, for the shoes. Yep, that's for the shoes. Right in there. But all these zippers are easy. Like, I never have a problem with a Yonex bag in terms of zippers. They're very, very high quality. Um, look at that. There's a side pocket for your cell phone. You probably toss your purse in here if it's small enough. And, uh, you know, whatever else. Cell phone keys, wallet. Uh, look at these things that popped out just to keep it dry, right? Uh, but I love their bags. Their bags are super cool like always well made look they even you can split your racket put your racket in here and then put something on the other side of it if you want to or if you want to put your laptop in here and put your racket here i guess you could do that too water bottles on the side on the other side compartment here or whatever else you want possibly shoes clothes balls and then your zipper here down the middle you can split that compartment if you want to put something else in here possibly shoes if you want or wallet maybe your purse will fit in here actually i was thinking about purses i don't know why but but yeah yonix bags i love they're the best if you're looking for a bag get a yonix bag is what I suggest. Everything else kind of falls apart. So, all right. So what other things do they do well? That is probably my second most requested overgrip. The Super Grap. G-R-A-P. Not C-R-A-P. G-R-A-P. All right. So it's very, very similar to Wilson Pro Overgrip. Um, it may come out of the same factory because it feels that close and that similar. So this is my second most requested um, overgrip. Um, it comes in a bunch of colors, not just black and white. But if you haven't tried it, you'll, you'll like this. Now the most underrated thing that Yonex does well that people don't really know of, I know a bunch of you always ask me uh, about them is their strings uh, they do they do actually a great poly line i mean they got that fire which is curver string supposedly uh, great for durability great for spin they got this poly tour which is a little firmer again great for durability uh, decent feel a little on the harder side uh, my favorite the Strike, uh, they deem it as a little firmer, but I thought it was a little softer. Um, I thought this was the softest of kind of all of these, but, and the best feeling. So this is my favorite, the Polytor Strike. And then they also have this Polytor Pro, which is a monofilament, um, more comfortable string. But still, my favorite is that Strike string out of all of these. These are the most underrated strings out there. If you haven't tried a Yonex string before, um, these are actually good high quality strings uh, that are made in, they're made in Japan it looks like. Yeah, they're made in Japan. Try that Polytor Strike though. That's my favorite. The, the, the synthetics, um, this is kind of like Wilson Sensation. Um, very good overall synthetic string. Um, their Rexus is their top string. Uh, this is kind of like, I want to say Gamma Professional, kind of in there. Um, very unique, very soft, good feeling, overall strength. It's an expensive string. Um, it's got gut-like features in, in a synthetic. So that is like a top-end synthetic if, you, if you've ever tried it. Uh, you want to save the arm? Try that string. It'll help. Now, the other things, the other things that um, I used to carry but don't anymore is 
The Yonex shoes, that Eclipsion shoe, is uh, a little on the narrower side, didn't fit um, like more than half the people that I brought it in for. Uh, if you have a narrow feet, it's perfect for you. But I feel like the Eclipsion 3, they've actually uh, made a slight change to make it a little wider. So try that Eclipsion 3. Um, I haven't gotten it yet, but I've been hearing some decent good things about it. So, uh, so shoes are actually okay. They're not horrible, they're okay. Um, stringing machines, their stringing machines are the most expensive in the industry. That's why I don't carry them. Uh, it's like upwards of about 8,500 for the cheaper model and $10,000 for that high-end model. So for me to recoup all that is, takes a long time. So that's why I don't carry those machines. They're probably made in Japan with high quality stuff. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I can't spend that on a machine, but um, good machines. Little clothes that they make, um, I've carried very, very little of their clothes in the past, but the little clothes that they make, like for Stan and some of the other sponsored women on tour, um, they're actually really good and they're really good looking. So if you've ever seen them or seen them online um, and you like the design or you like the style, uh, try them out. They're good quality clothes and, and it's we very well thought out. Um, you know, the patterns and the materials. Um, definitely try their clothes. They also make tennis balls. Um, there's a champ like ball and then there's a higher grade ball uh, i used to use the higher grade balls in the teaching carts and they lasted a good amount of time uh, they're very very similar to wilson us open balls they come out of the same factory so i'm guessing they are the us open ball with the same quality and the same durability so you know great balls try the balls out if you ever see those um, I think that's it. I've covered pretty much everything that Yonex uh, makes. Uh, good, high quality products. Um, it's made in Japan, so hey, it's gotta be, right? Uh, so yeah, that's my review of the Yonex brand. Um, love most of the stuff they have. All right, so thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.